first to go. All right. Pro players never surrender. Sure they do. That was game over. He had a... Uh... I think he had damage on board. I forget, I think I had like 5,800 life points left and he has two monsters. No, I think he was a little bit off. It's close enough. Ojama Country, I can't activate it. Melfi, I can't use it. Um, I want Ojama Duo in the grave. So I'll set it. Maybe he has Harpy's Feather Dust or something. And then Dogmatic of Punishment is my only way to not lose. Monarchs can be scary sometimes. The only scary thing about his deck was that Ash Blossom. Because the search didn't go off, I was ham-boned. <gasps> Dragon Maids! Whatever. This isn't World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is tomorrow. Real close, let Victory Dragon attack directly. I mean, maybe. If you don't know nothing about nothing, it's gonna go into the big dragon. Oh, I guess I did go second, huh? Ooh. Dragon Maid Tinkerbell. Real pose, use the feet deck. I don't know about that. I saw someone earlier using Tri Brigade with Melfi stuff. Yeah, Melfi's are great in this deck. They're gonna end their turn on that? Uh, okay, whatever. Ojama Duo. We want the Feet deck? No, you don't. They're gonna maxi that? Okay, that's fine. Here you go, you get two tokens. I'm not sure why you would use maxi right before my turn starts. Ooh, special summon with Ojama Duo. We'll special summon Ojama Blue and Ojama Black. Ojama Blue, Ojama Not Blue. Activate Ojama Country. Is Ojama Blue hard once per turn? No, it is not. Nice. Okay, and then we normal summon that, and then I activate Melfi Hide and Seek. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, look at all these Melf- look at all these cards I can go into. I can go into Melfi Mommy- Mi Mommy Milkers. Ojama Blue dies and lets me search out two Ojama cards. Yay! Search out Ojama Party and Ojama Magic. I'm sorry, what? What are you guys talking about? Yeah, two searches. Okay, this time I'll add Ojama Red and another duo. Hi, YouTube. Pfft, who says this is gonna be on YouTube? You guys are crazy. Has declared an attack. Would you like to activate? Ooh, they took damage from that? <gasps> That's crazy. You think they're gonna use the effect in order to special summon a dragon made monster from their hand and then cert? They're not? Okay, I was expecting them to just summon another card. Ojama Magic. Select blue and put this one into defense position. Ojama Magic activates to search out three cards. Whoa, look at this hand, that's amazing. Okay, what do these cards do? From your graveyard up to number of materials. Uh, let's see, detach one material. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one beast XC's monster you control, return that monster to the extra deck, and special summon two, level two or lower. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. I can also use this one to search out Dynamishkus, right? Now, only if it is a trap card as a material. Okay, so Joyous Melfi's is probably the way to go. Whoa, it has a summoning animation? That's pretty cool. Okay, I want to ditch Ojama Duo to the grave. Set Slifer? I would love to set Slifer, but I can't. I can't see how you're going to lose right here. I know, right? Look at all this advantage I have. I have almost as much advantage as my opponent does. Ojama Pajamas. Use the effect now. Yeah. I can gain a million advantage. Okay, so what I'll do is add for my deck to the hand. Uh, I'll add Ojama Magic. And then I'll ditch Duo. Oh my god, this card is crazy. It lets you add first and then discard. That's so good. You can literally just add Oja Magic and then discard it immediately. Set Osiris with no hand. Psh, what's it doing? Dragon Mage Changeover? Oh, I can stop this. It is a hard once per turn, so they can't use it again. However, one of the problems targeting this card is that I can't send a Tiss. So I have to send a big boy. So I'll send Shiraig. I don't think Shiraig can search because I don't have anything banished, unfortunately. I actually get to check out my favorite YouTuber live. What an ace day. Hello there, Captain Condiment. Your favorite YouTuber's live right now? I don't think Far Far MBT is online. <gasps> They're gonna search out Shio incoming. No, I stopped Shio. They can't go into it this turn. Free Orpheus Scorpio. So humble. Who's humble? Someone in chat say something humblish. 
Oh, jammers. It's Ojama gods. Haven't you ever used Ojamas to summon a god before? Uh-oh, not Joyous Melfi. I'll activate Joyous Melfi to return itself to the extra deck. And then I'll summon two Ojama Blues. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this combo is great. What the hell? This is amazing. Where's Shio? They can't go into Shio because I stopped their uh, changeover. They have to destroy Ojama Blue. Oh no, please don't destroy Melfi Hide and Seek. Oh, that's fine. I don't give a about Ojama Country. Ojama Country has already served its purpose. Melfi Hide and Seek is the card I'm more worried about now. Especially since I can just search out another Ojama Country. What was the point in that? Ojama Country, and I'll also just search out another blue, because why not? Ojama's Blue's plus one. So good. If only the card itself wasn't terrible. My favorite streamer's live, but I'm here to watch your spider VTuber. <gasps> yeah, I know. Rose will be streaming right now. Parlor Maid. They had another one in their hand? Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness gracious. After all the effort I went through to stop changeover, it adds itself and then returns a targeted card. Wait, did he already add it? And I just am stupid and I missed that? Main phase one. All right, well, he hates Ojama Country. So let's activate that. <laughs> Maybe he'll negate it. Nope. Okay. Well, that's inconvenient. Let's uh, activate Ojama Country's effect. And I'll send Ojama Green to the grave in order to bring out Ojama Blue. So much advantage and nothing to use it on. I know, right? I need one more card. Is there a way to get one more card on the field? Hmm. I have Ojama Duo in the grave. How come I can't use this? Do your new player's turn, except the turn this card was sent to the grave. Your banishes card, so we'll just do Ojama Monsters with different names in your deck. Do I not have two Ojama Monsters with different names in my deck? I do have two Ojama Monsters with different names in my deck. Yeah, I, I do. I don't know why it's not letting me use it. Well, I can return some of them right now. When I discard red and special summon with Slifer, select... Oh, I only have one. Well, I can rectify that myself. Let's add an Ojama Party to my hand, and then I'll send... I have a yellow in the deck. Who's in the grave right now? Uh, if I return both of those, and I have a full package. So, what I'll do is send Ojama Blue... No, these cards are useless in my hand. Uh, I'll just send another yellow back to the deck, I guess. Okay, and then I'll activate Melfi Hide and Seek to reload the deck. One, two, three. One, two, three. Draw a card. Okay. I can now use Ojama Duo. Hmm. Hmm. Or I can turn off Shio. Hmm. <laughs> Do I turn off Shio? Oh, I don't know. Select a card to send to the grave. I'll send Ojama Blue and Ojama Country on the field to the grave. And that's it. Selecting Shio and this card. Okay, and then I can use Duo from the graveyard. They they can't respond, right? I'm pretty sure they can't. Drop the god? Oh, I'm gonna. Osiris. Hear my call. I summon Slifer, the Sky Dragon, with 6,000 attack points, and I'll destroy Shio. <laughs> Not enough attack points. It is impossible for them to defeat Slifer now. If they summon any monsters, they get destroyed due to Slifer's effect, and he has 5,000 attack points, and absolutely no protection. <laughs> well, he has a, a kaiju in his hand. Stop saying hi, YouTube. This isn't going on YouTube. Shut the hell up. Stop jinxing yourself. What is he going to do? Summon another Shio with my no interruption? Become the butterfly? A god was killed by a kaiju? See, the problem was I didn't have any follow-ups after that. As activated changeover. Activate the effect of <laughs> this combo. You guys uh, are a bunch of comedians. Ojama, we'll send this one to the graveyard. Kaijus are the new... Shut up. The thing is, once I get out the kaiju, I kind of need to win that turn. Not the kaiju. Once I get out the the god card. Wow, he just went straight into Shio and that's it? He's going to give me a chance to come back from this? 
Oh, wow. Reject Egypt, return to Moth. I think I might be good. Whoa. Ooh, a Dogmatica Punishment. It's going to special summon a card, a level 9 or lower Dragon Maid monster. Dragon Maid nurse to get another Dragon Maid card. He is merciful. You're right. He is a merciful god. Let's see here. I can return all of the Ojamas. With Melfi Hide and Seek, return all of the vanillas. That way, Ojama magic is live in my hand. Thanks for the hundred bits, Baguska. <gasps> Melfi Pony! Okay, and then I can activate Ojama Pajama. Hmm, to add an Ojama Pajama to my hand. And then ditch Ojama magic. And then activate Ojama magic to search out three cards. One. Two, three, and then I'll normal summon red and then get negated by Shio. Thanks for the sub equalizer tour. I don't know, almost any card here. Ojama red summons all the Ojamas from my hand. If he doesn't negate this, then he doesn't know Ojamas. However, Ojama red is not destroyed because of Melfi hide and seek. <laughs> like clockwork. Okay, and then I can use Ojama country. To ditch Ojama green to the grave in order to special summon out Ojama blue. Now, I can go into, uh, if I go into one of these cards, Housemaid can just bounce my cards when these cards return themselves to the hand to do their Dragon Mage shenanigans. During your main phase, special summon a level 4 lower beast, beast war monster from your hand. You cannot use monsters link to show this turn except for the beast. Can I link climb with this? Do I have anything to link climb into? <gasps> I could go into five-headed link dragon god. Oh my god. If only he would just stop negating my goddamn Ojama Red. Uh, I think I just need to go for defensive maneuvers at this point. You play five- Of course I play five-headed dragon god in my Ojama deck. This is a god card deck. Uh, once per turn, quick effect, attach one beast monster from your hand or field to this card as material. This card gains, cannot be destroyed by battle, you take no damage. Oh, so if I get three from your hand or field? Okay, so I can just go into mommy in order to stall out for a little bit. If I go into this card, yeah, because if I go into the battle phase, they're going to return to the hand, which will proc Dragon Maid's effect to bounce my card, so I can't actually go into battle. So we'll just go into this, put it into defense position. There's no way they have another kaiju. And then I'll activate its effect in order to attach one of these to it. So now he has protection and punishment. And then I should be able to get Pony during the end phase. End phase. Activate Pony's effect. Pony will give me infinite recursion. Okay. I'm not out of this yet. I have a Dogmatica punishment. Target one card you control. Wait, once per turn, target one other monster you control. Spells on one Dragon Maid monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position or is one level higher. Or lower than it. So it's going to special summon another Dragon Maid monster. Hmm. Take no damage from battles involved with this card. Inflict damage to your opponent. Uh, I want to destroy House Maid, but not now. Would Goddess the Underworld be a funny card to play? One of your opponent's monsters? <gasps> that would be an excellent card to play. Okay, I'll use Melfi Pony to uh, bow out now. In order to return another card to my hand. Melfi Pony returns, and then allows me to add a beast monster from my graveyard to my hand. Because Melfi Pony is legit. <gasps> Imagine if you use the Akiza gift from your editor. Wait, wait one second. <gasps> I don't know if that worked or not, because I can't see it. <gasps> so, I have one form of disruption that can hit two targets. I'm going to hit on, because if they go into the battle phase, I need to blow up their field. At the very least, I need to destroy House Dragon Maid before they go into it. That way they can't get rid of uh, Mommy's Milker's changeover. Okay, I guess we're doing it now. Punishment on this card. And then sending the Tiss to the grave. Uh, so that I can destroy... House. Okay, so it adds itself to the hand regardless. The Tiss activates. Destroy this card. That way they can't bounce my, uh, my Melfi Mommy. House Hospitality. The quick effect is just to add another card to it. I don't need to add another card to it. I just need it to survive for one turn so that I can... I actually don't really have any follow-ups to this. Ojama Red is my only big boy. Wait, that works on Shio? What the hell? Wait, if they had just gone into House Dragon Maid, they could have bounced all my cards. Can they not special summon House? I think they could have special summoned house. So does tidying 
What card did they search with Chamber Dragon Maid? House wasn't summoned properly. Oh, yeah. He was cheated out with the effect of Dragon Maid Shio. Sup, goat? No, we're not playing goat format. This is Ojama God format. Wait, you play WoW? Yeah, I have a World of Warcraft channel. It's called the Dual Logs World of Warcraft channel. House Parlor is going to send a card from their deck to the graveyard, if I remember correctly. <gasps> tidying. Okay, they probably want tidying on the field, not in the graveyard. Thanks for the sub, Ruxin34. Well, I gotta follow that now. I'm not watching the stream more, I'm just lurking. Wait, lurking is watching the stream though. Okay, then they're going to go into a changeover for... Why did they wait? How come they're not using the Ojama token as a material for something? <laughs> it's been there like the whole duel. <laughs> just wait for Sam to upload his god tier Ojama deck profile. The Ojama gods. What's he gonna go into? House? Uh, oh. They should have did that earlier. They could have bounced Mommy. It is before the end of the main phase. Um, Sure, I'll activate this. Melfi Mommy. Are you really going to negate Melfi Mommy? Yeah, I didn't think so. Now we have four materials. It's the Bouncy Mommy. Exactly. Ojama Yellow? Oof. That sucks. <laughs> Dragon Maid Shio is going to activate its effect. As long as House Dragon Maid's on the field, I can't really enter the battle phase. Or as long as they have this one too. Dragon Maid Downtime. <gasps> Wait, it doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, it procs a House Dragon Maid immediately. Do that in order to bounce one of your spell traps. Okay. Well, GG. I didn't think this would be a win. Psh, you guys just don't believe. What are they going to bounce? Ojama pajamas. They're gonna bounce Malfi hide and seek. I can just put activate that again. Do I have cards in the graveyard to use it? No, I only have one in the graveyard currently. If they bounce Malfi mommy though, then uh, I'm gonna get a whole bunch in the graveyard. If we'll miss house timings if it's chain link two. Wait, what? Has activated the effect. Use face. The face cam is already out though. I guess it'll have to stay out for the next one too. Dragon made tidying. So what you're saying is if a card is bounced, I should activate Melfi Mommy so it misses timing? No, I don't think that's how that works. You'll miss house timing if it's Chain Link 2. I sent a card from the deck to the graveyard. They have a whole bunch of cards out on the field and they have two cards they can bounce in order to get two bounces during the battle phase, which means I need to destroy them before the battle phase. However, my deck can't really do that unless I have some way to recur... Ojama Red. I need to get Ojama Red off this card. Hmm. Let me do this real quick. Maybe they'll negate Melfi Mommy for me? Come on, negate it with Shio. I'm begging you. Negate it, please. Please negate my Melfi Mommy so I can go... God damn it. Uh, select a card to add as a material. It doesn't matter. I have a five material Melfi Mommy. Uh, I'll just enter the battle phase so he's forced to bounce it. No, actually, I'll just activate Hide and Seek. Forbidden Droplet? <gasps> what? <laughs> okay. You're going to get rid of one of your bounces for me? Thanks. Um, WTF? Can I get two cards on the field? Um... Even if I get Ojama Red in my hand, I can't really do too much. I'm going to use Ojama Country in order to send Blue to the Grave. Special Summon Blue from the Graveyard in attack position. And then I'll Normal Summon this card. And oh, I'll use Punishment last turn. And I'll put this into attack position. And then I'm just gonna go for it and pray for the best. Oh, <gasps> he didn't bounce. Are you kidding me? What the hell? He didn't bounce. He let a five material mommy attack? Does he not know what Zeus is? Oh, I'm locked out because of punishment. Well, well, well. If it isn't my own hubris. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, so I'm a pro Yu-Gi-Oh player, so I know better than you guys. So actually, that was just a 100 IQ move. You guys just don't understand. This is just what happens. These are the plays you make when you're a pro 
Yu-Gi-Oh gamer. You guys just don't get it. Because you're not a pro Yu-Gi-Oh gamer like I am. Hi YouTube, shut up. This isn't going on YouTube. This is a, a practice match. Misplays increase the drama for YouTube? I don't know about that. Holy redeem- yeah, the- What?! <laughs> they quit?! Why?! It's so easy to beat Mommy. All you have to do is just bounce one of your cards. Which you do during the battle phase. Oh my god, I can't believe that became a win. That was the most stressful duel ever. I had to use 100% of my IQ, which is not a lot.